Sunday was World Polio Day. For years, that virus ran rampant across the world. It took lives and paralyzed many survivors. Today, there are zero reported polio cases in the U.S. and very few across the globe. Experts tell Dylan Straki that's due to vaccines. Dylan, there are some parallels between polio and COVID. Yeah, that's right, Eric and Hannah. One local family recalled what they went through when the disease was at its peak more than six decades ago. I'll never forget when uh, mom and dad and the rest of the family come to visit us at the hospital, they had a talk through a window. A Durand family shares their prior struggles with polio as part of an event hosted by the Pecatonica Rotary Club Tuesday night. The Walsh family was prepping for the start of school in 1955 when one of them was diagnosed with the disease. This whole ordeal was less than two weeks old and already they have four children in isolation. Eventually, it spread to 10 other members of the family, even claiming the lives of two. That deadly cloud, the polio epidemic, would change the world for the Walsh family. Now, polio isn't a threat to public health in many parts of the world, according to Rotary Club member Margaret Larson. She says the purpose of the presentation was to celebrate the progress that's been made. We are this close to eradicating polio. It currently exists a case in two countries. Larson says it's difficult not to draw parallels between the spread of polio and the ongoing threat of COVID-19. She's hoping the Rotary Club can one day recognize similar successes in fighting the disease. I don't think it's any different than what, what we're experiencing right now. With polio, we go back how many years, and you can see the effect of, of what hard work and the new science has done with polio, and hopefully that can happen with uh, many other things. One of the Walsh siblings wrote a book about the family's fight against polio. Triumph on Baker Road was released five years ago. Eric.